Good day. Welcome back to the Aston Villa series on Football Manager 2019. Sound a bit weird. Got a cold, unfortunately. A bit annoying, but um, uh, yeah, it's the first game of the season, pretty much, uh, in our third season. Third season in the series, second season in the Premier League. Uh, after we came eighth last year, uh, hoping to maybe with the signings I've made break into the top four. I really want to try. Uh, I kind of want to skip Europa League. <laughs> Whether that's going to be doable, I don't know. But we've made some good signings, to be fair. Uh, so I've got a lot to catch you up on. Um, one thing is, though, there'll only be one game this episode because, obviously, I want to show you all the signings and what's happened in pre-season uh, and all that good stuff. So, may as well get straight into it. Uh, if you go to Trust History, ignore that for now. Uh, release players. There's been a lot. So, you know, we had a lot of wages come back into the club. Uh, McCormack is gone. Currently, a free agent. I hope no one's on because he's shit. shabola has gone. Played for Tr was in Turkey. Fair play to him. Uh, Dominic Riemann. Uh, I think in real life this guy's got some good good potential. He's currently on the bench for Villa in real life, so must be doing something right. Albert Adoma has gone to oh God. Where are they? Spanish second tier. He's gone to Spain. Fair play. Uh, Alfie's gone to Preston. So he's still doing his job in the in the championship. Sarkic is still a free agent. Heber Murphy's left us. He's currently a free agent, but wanted by wanted by some decent teams. So he he's still got a career to make. Uh, Corey Blackett is straight away signed for for Wigan. Uh, it just wasn't good enough to be honest. Uh, never going to make it in my team as it is at the moment. Uh, Jack Clark's gone. Who main names? Let's do the main names. Keenan Davis has left us. Got to Cardiff. Fair play, they've gone to Cardiff. Best in the prayer. I know they're in the championship. Uh, they're not doing too well. Unless they haven't started yet. Oh, no, they must have. They haven't won a game yet, so. Yeah, we'll see. They might keep an eye on him. Uh, and really, that's it, I think. So that's it for all, you know, release players. Uh, if we go on, all transfers now. I'll do the outs first. No major outs. I tried my hardest to push some people on. Uh, but mainly, it's just the. The, the release players that went so they're still free up a lot of wages Linden's gone on a free Mark Overton these are just uh, youngsters who have gone out on loan get some game time uh, right so I don't know why it's not coming up telling us how much we spent it's a bit weird there we go 18.25 million that's all I've spent is that all I've spent? we got given like 50 million <laughs> uh, but I guess a lot of it has gone on wages. So, to get started, we did have the option to buy Serge Nabry for 7.5 million uh, after we had him on loan. Uh, obviously, yeah, we loaned him last season, put the optional future fee of 7.5 million. About to do it, and then all of a sudden, we noticed uh, his contract. Sorry, uh, I'm so sorry. Oh, what's wrong with me? I'm just ill. I need to sleep. Uh, yeah, we noticed his contract was actually running out. He had like two months left. So we signed him on a free transfer. We paid him a lot of money this time though. We, we, we've gone from paying him like 12 grand. Because we only paid like 10% of his wages. Uh, to 110 grand. Uh, but we had, we would give him less. But we, he wanted a uh, release clause. Which I didn't want him to have. So we paid him a lot. But out of the whole 20 teams in the Premier League. We're currently 13th uh, highest wage bill. So we still got a lot of ground to make up. To you know, catch up with the big boys. So I'm, I'm, we're doing good. We're doing good. Um, this guy, I think, is a bit of a coup. Four point four million, rather than just loaning in players, which I, I have loaned some, which you'll see in a minute, are beneficial. Which you'll see. I'll show you in a minute. Uh, we obviously loaned Coquelin as our CDM last season. This is our new CDM. Uh, ball winning midfielder. He can be a half back and command. He can do the whole the whole shit with Shabazz, really. Uh, he can even push him to send him in. But these stats for a ball winning, I was really happy about. Uh, half back, they're really good. 17s here and stuff. So um, he is our new CDM, and we bought him. He's a good player. 4.4 million, worth 12.5. Current ability, 3.5. It's a good player for most Premier League sides. Uh, so yeah, he is our new CDM. Uh, which is good signing, very cheap. I don't think we're paying him too much either. 38.5k, there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, right, next is Falcon Hazard. He was at Arsenal. Again, we're paying him a lot, 105k, but he wanted a release clause as well, which I didn't want him to have. 
So probably overpaid a little bit. Uh, but he's a good player. He's an all-round player, a good all-round player. 27 in, the, in his peak at the moment. Um, he can play on the left, he can play on the right. Uh, and it's good that he can play either as a midfielder or a winger. So uh, we actually brought him in to play as our new right winger. So he's got the stats for it. He's, he's right-footed. And if Nabry gets injured, he can play inside forward. We've got Green or Mane to play on the right. So we've got a lot of depth as well as quality this season, which I'm really happy about. Uh, but we signed him for 13.75 million from Arsenal after they signed him two seasons ago for 24. So, yeah, nice little sign in there, I think. Uh, it's definitely improved our right winger. It was Mane. So, uh, if we go back, actually, Forgan Hazard reports as a right winger. He is better, and he's you know he's got more potential, and he's currently training more to be a natural winger there. So uh, he's going to be good. He's going to score some goals just this season, I reckon. Uh, next on is Gabriel Barbosa. Obviously, we have Mania, who was top goal scorer in the Premier League last season. He won the Golden Boot, uh, and our second striker was Kodja. Now Kodja's up. You've still got Kodja. I did try to get rid of him to be honest, but Kodja's just our third striker. I think every team needs three strikers at least. Uh, so we've got Kodja, we've also got Thorgan Hazard, Nabry can play up front, but natural strikers, we had, we only had Mania and Kodja last season. So I thought, we may as well get someone in alone, just uh, whilst Kodja is still here, he's still a little bit old, but Kodja's gone down the pack, and I don't know, he'll probably just play in like, the Carabao Cup early stages. Gabriel Barbosa, I do uh, Obviously, they used to call him Gabagol, didn't they? He had a, such a big future ahead of him, but it's, for some reason, it's not really worked for him at the moment. Uh... So he's just got a, a decent contract to Inter. It's just, you know, we're not paying him too much. 26k. Uh, and yeah, he's very good, actually. He's scored some goals in pre-season for me already. Three goals, uh, 7.1 rating. So he's a good backup for Mania, definitely. And he might even play his part of the season. And then if he does, maybe we can try and sign him. He's only 23. Uh, but yeah, we'll see. Uh, we've still got a lot of money in the bank as well. So uh, money to play with in January, definitely. Maybe some freebies, uh, like pre-contract freebies. I don't know. Uh, next one is Ricardo Rodriguez. He's been in some pretty big, uh, big clubs. Uh, Wolfsburg, Milan, uh, Real Madrid signed him, so he must be decent. Uh, he's actually been taking all, of my, all my free kicks. So, has he got a good free kick taken or something? Okay, so yeah, he's got a free kick for me in pre-season. Uh, one goal, average rating of 8 so far. And his physicals are immense. Uh, he's definitely going to be an upgrade on Furpo. Uh, I think, yeah, it's a bigger grade on Furpo. Although Furpo is doing well. Uh, we're still going to keep Furpo because he's got four-star potential. Like, he's a very good player. For what we signed him for, 2.4 million, he's been quality, to be honest. Uh, he's good competition now. Um, so, yeah, uh, plus Rodriguez can play in quite a few positions as well. We can play him as a centre-back if we really want to, or a wing-back. Probably even play him as a winger if you really wanted to. Um, if we go here, we'll click winger. He's got some okay stats as a winger, so yeah, uh, we'll see how it goes, but probably mainly left back. Uh, next is another right back who can also play left back. I've been trying to sign this guy for like three seasons in a row, like since we started. He's like perfect to have on the bench. <laughs> he's only 23, he's got a little bit little bit of potential. Debating on whether to start him or Bree at right back, because Bree has been our right back so far. Um, he's got the potential to be a leading Premier League right back in the future. He's currently good, a good right back. Whereas Bree is currently a decent, I think. No, he's good. He's a good player for most championship sides. So he probably will be more of a backup this season, which I'm kind of annoyed about because he has some good potential, just hasn't quite hit it. Uh, but yeah, it is what it is. He can also play in centre mid, can he really? What's his stats as a, as a Nazella? Not too bad. Yeah, so he's good to have. He's good to have around. We'll see how he does. But yeah. We've also, so now we've got uh, Benjamin Henricks uh, on loan, uh, who could play either left or right back. Sorry, I'm, my nose is full of snot and I'm really struggling right now. Um, so yeah, right back or left back, good cover, and he's probably going to be our starting right back. Another thing though, which I forgot to tell you, uh, for Rodriguez, we've actually got the option to buy him, I think. Uh, how do we go to his contract? Yeah, so optional future fee is 11.25 million, uh, which we might do at the end of the season. I don't know. We've got the money now, to be honest. We can probably get it done, but uh, yeah, we'll probably wait to see how he does till the end of the season. Uh, did that say you can play? No. Uh, yeah, we'll wait till the end of the season. Uh, show you Henrik. So then, David Silver's on a free. You can't not sign him if he's on a free. He's 34 years old. He's probably, 
obviously past his bat, past his best. Uh, but we will be using him uh, to cover for Jack Grealish, maybe. Uh, even at centre mid, we can probably play him, play him as a Mazzella if we really need to. He's just he's a bit slow. That's the only problem with stamina. So he won't play many games, but he's good cover, and he will start some games. Only paying him thirty one k, which I think is an absolute steal. So that sums up our. You know our January, you know, our summer transfer window is actually closed now. So uh, closed before the first game of the season, which is now. Um, friendly wise, I don't remember losing. Oh yeah, I do. Um, yeah, so we had Mets, which we beat five nil. Lons Lens beat two nil. Uh, who's who's been scoring? Thorgan Hazard, uh, Barbosa, and Dabry, Mania, all the main guys. Uh, this one. We had two sentences off in the twelfth and the nineteenth minute, so yeah, we did well to to score two goals. Like it was weird, such a weird game. Big, biggest game, then we beat Roma one nil. They're their full strength team out, so I'm very happy about that. And then if you look at this team now compared to this team, it's just full of our unwanted shit, really. Uh, but with a few players like David Silva came on, Barbosa came on, Firpo came on, but mainly it's players that are just squad players. Uh, not really going to start many games this season so uh, we beat him 8-1 so uh, last game of season uh, pre-season was very good now we're kicking off the Premier League on a Friday we're away to Wolves this is a big game uh, and we have some injuries I do believe uh, we're sticking with the formation that we had for the last season so let's just sort this team out uh, I'll do it with you rather than doing it off camera let's get Mia back in Mia actually wanted to leave which I'll talk about in a minute no, I might as well talk about it now uh, he's He's still unhappy, to be honest. PSG came in for him. But for a 23-year-old centre-back who's still got a little bit of potential to get uh, ball playing as well, they only came in for him at his value, which I thought was a bit weird. Especially PSG. like They're trying to get a proper good bargain from me. And I just, no. It's not happening. I want at least, like, 30. I want more than that, really, but 30 is as low as I will go. Uh, so we said no to that. Uh, and also, Mania wasn't happy about something. I can't remember why. Uh, just a promise. I think it was a promise. I said I promised to upgrade the uh, coaching staff, which I never did. Uh, but it is what it is. So let's just sort this team out. Nabry. Uh, Henriks. Rodriguez. Chambers. Where's our CDM at? Here he is. Roggy's injured. That's the main guy. He's out for another two weeks, maybe. So, who do we play in this in this Mazzella role? That is the question. I think I'm playing Grealish there for now. I'm going to put Grealish there as the Mazzella. He can play there, and I am going to bring David Silva on as our playmaker. See how he does. He might he might be gone. His legs might be gone, but we'll see. Uh, Barbosa is he is he able to play a little bit? Fitness test not required, so he's able to play. Um, Okay, let's get these players off the bench. Let's sort our bench out. Is that my full team then? I think it is. Okay. This might all fuck up. You never know because, you know, we've got a few new players. Not as many as previous seasons. Like, we had a massive overhaul last season. Uh, but this season, we've kept uh, just certain quality rather than quantity. Uh, so, sub-goalkeeper will be Neuland. We'll have Chester on the bench. Furpo or Bree, which one do we want? Probably Furpo. Yeah, we'll go Furpo. Um, McGinn. We'll have Green. And there's that. Oh, we won't have Kodjo, we'll have Barbosa. Probably have Mane then. And Barbosa. So we've got a lot of players now. I did try to get rid of loads, but no, they just no one was going, unfortunately. Uh, so yeah, Chester, Furpo. Do we need Furpo on the bench? Or do we need Green? We've got two left backs, so we'll probably just stick with Bree actually. I think that'll do. Ch yeah, the bench is a bit weak, to be honest. I just I was looking on deadline day and I couldn't find anyone I wanted. Uh, yeah, so we've actually still got uh, eight. 8 million with 80k wage. I was going to get uh, Maitland Niles back alone, but he wants like 40k, which I was going to do. Uh, but then I realised, you know, I've got cover already. Grealish, Fulham and Zeller Roll. I've got McGinn, you can play them as Zeller Roll. Hurahan, still here. Uh, 
I tried to get rid, but no, it's, no one came in for him. So, so this is the team we're going with. Everyone's currently been trained in their positions as to play natural. Um, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. I did actually go for Henry Maguire at the very start of the uh, transfer window because Leicester got relegated. Um, <gasps> they're all fit. I bet they are. Diamond Silver is a number. Who's 21? I'm not giving 21. No. We'll give you. What do you want, mate? I'm going to give you the number 99 because I can. 99. Submit. So they're still sticking with this five at the back formation. I wonder if Nuno Santo is still there. Because that's kind of his way of playing, wasn't it? Uh, I have faith. I feel really positive about this season. I feel like we definitely will. Uh, we definitely will do better than eighth. Whether we win this game or not, I don't know. But I think we do. We we'll do better than eighth. Director, uh, right? Slow it down. Now let's go. First game of the season. Let's do this. Wolves still got a very strong team. So we have a quick look who Wolves assigned. Uh, transfer history. 15 million. Johnny Evans, decent signing. Got some old players here, though, to be honest. Oliver McBurney is okay. He's shit in real life, I think. <laughs> uh, nothing major. So, obviously, trying to sign quality rather than quantity. But Johnny Evans is a good signer. I did also look at Johnny Evans, so. Ricardo Costa is pinged one in. Yacht us through. We are 1 0 down. Demand more. Fuck off. Bottom of the league, lads. What's going on? I've, I've signed players built around this and built and based around this formation, so it better bloody work. <laughs> it worked last season. It's got to work again. I know I probably will have to change it soon, but it's, work, it's worked so far. We've got the goal now, so yeah, let's get creative. Let's make some chances. They have got more possession. Oh my days. How has that gone in? You don't save those. It went so slow. Let's watch the replay because that's embarrassing. Moutinho gets it to Helder Costa. He just kills it. Oh, keeper. Poor. Poor. Oh, come on. We're not going to get battered, are we? Fucking hell. Ah. Oh. We are getting shot on, aren't we? We really are. We need to get back into this game. We need to get on the ball. Come on. Close. Close. Yeah, I'm going to edit this quickly. Distribute quickly. We're missing Roggy in the middle. He's the one who closes everyone down. Valencia gets the ball in. Held a Costa. What is happening here? Seriously. We are getting shot on. Fabri. Come on then. Silver. It's a good ball over to Hazard. Inside to a nice silver. Nice. Greenish. Come on. Make something happen. Give it silver. He, he's got magic in his boots, mate. He can find that killer pass. Come on, mate. Turn around. A wide. Nice. Oh, come on. What is happening? He's kept it in. Oh, Maneo is waiting. He's lurking. Grealish! Oh, Grealish. What a hit, son. What a hit. Oh, it should have got in. It's positives, boys. We're back in this now, possession-wise. Grealish with a ball in. Can't beat the first man. That's shocking. Oh, is it the ball, though, isn't he? Should have gone in. 
<sighs> Let's get creative. Had a poor start to this game, haven't we? Let's give him a volley in. I was so positive. I've been at work all day thinking, oh, I can't wait to use this new team I've built. And oh dear me, it's just not gone the way I wanted it to go. Unfortunately, come on, Grealish. Chambers is back post. Oh, he's clipped the crossbar. Harold Acosta's been dangerous, hasn't he, really? Can this be our highlight, please? We have worked our way back in. They have had clear shots, whereas we haven't. I don't know why, because I've got work ball into box and stuff, and short passing. I don't know why we don't get clear cut chances, but it's a good ball from Silva. He clips it in. Nabby's back post. I've also got low crosses on, haven't I? Surely. Yeah. That was a high cross. Don't know what he's doing. Come on. Manir's having a shocker. Barbosa's coming on. Do magic, mate. Make your place in this team. Ah. Oh. Never. It's a good ball. Oh, how has he got that? No! Oh, we can't defend these, like, short passes in our box. I just don't know. We're 4-1 down. We're not even playing that bad. We've had more shots. <laughs> they just had, they've had so much on target. It's mad. Oh, dear me. Rodriguez is having a shocker. I knew I should have bloody brought Thingy on. Let's get him off. Get Brie on. <sighs> See, look, there's not a lot we can do here. There really isn't. What can we do? This game's going to finish and we're going to get a batting from the media. Now, Bree, how have you done? You got Grealish. Come here, son. Um, again, I guess. Mozilla. Come on, let's grab one more. Make it a little bit less. Ah, oh, yes. Who will take the pen? This is not exactly the best. And he's new. I can see him missing this, to be honest. They've still got Patricia. Yeah. Come on. Grab one back for us, please, mate. For the goal difference. Oh, don't know how that went in. <laughs> Uh, we'll go very wide. We will. Oh, we haven't got to work it into the box. No wonder we don't fucking score those. Push forward. Close. Come on, boys. 17 shots, 5 on target. We haven't done too bad. We don't deserve to be 4 0. Oh, I guess our defence has been a bit shit. And now I've actually bolstered it with two good signings. I don't know why it's. Maybe it's because it's their first couple of games in the Premier League. You've got to get used to it, haven't they? Uh, Gabriel Barbosa has got the 69 shirts. Go on, Nabri. How many is that, mate? How many is that? <sighs> Poor. Terrible. Oh dear, not a good start to the Premier League season. We'll get revenge. We'll get revenge, but I will give my team a bollock in. Right. Not good. It's not good. We have got Watford next, who just came up from the Championship. But anyway, guys, I am ill, so I'm going to get off. Uh, I hope you did enjoy. If you want to see more, you know what to do. Hit that like button. If you're new around here, please, please hit that subscribe button. Uh, I'm trying to hit 1K as soon as possible. Uh, so any help 
uh, will be very nice of you. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.